the winds have changed in English cricket, and it's an appointment, a great appointment, I must say. Finally, they pick an Aussie. English cricket, hats off to you. In the ODI and T20 format, who else? Matthew Mott. Now, a lot of people say, who's Matthew Mott? Well, I'll tell you who Matthew Mott is. He, he was a very, very good cricketer for Queensland and is also a very successful coach. Now, we coached the Aussie women's cricket team to go on to win the World Cup recently, and he's been put in charge now, as I mentioned, of the England T20 and 50 over format in the white ball game. Uh, Matthew might a bit of a background with him. Left-handed batsman, a great fieldsman, good cricket brain, went to the Cricket Academy, 94-95 with myself and Andrew Simons. And the great thing about Matthew Mott is he was always destined to become a great leader, uh, a wonderful captain. He captained a lot of junior sides. Uh, he went on to captain the, the Cricket Academy. But you always knew with Matthew Mott, he always had his playing ability. We knew that. That was on one side. But that leadership qualities and that coaching style was always evident, even at the tender age of about 17 or 18. Now, I believe Matthew Mott will be fantastic for England cricket because he's got that never-say-die attitude. You think also, too, that the last seven years he's been in charge of the Australian women's cricket team, they've done very, very well. Um, you think about they've won predominantly uh, 20 consecutive T20 World Cups, uh, 50 over World Cup formats. They've gone on to win four Ashes series undefeated. You know, the stats are all these, one game after game after game, series after series. But when you break it all down and you actually ask, who is Matthew Mott? What does he bring to the table? And all the girls say straight away, he's a fantastic guy. He knows the players, and that's so important. He understands the personalities. So what I believe makes a great coach is someone that is a great man manager or a woman manager, someone that can actually get to the core of who that person is, what makes them tick, and how can they become the best version of themselves. Now, we know that with coaches at that top elite level, whether it's the women's or the men's, they don't have to be told how to play a cover drive. They don't have to be told how to bowl and out swing because they've done it, they've been there, they've had that experience. One thing I do know with Matthew Mott, he understands the players, as I mentioned, but he wants to push the players. He wants to make them the best version of them. And I think he's been fantastic for English uh, cricket. Now, what's exciting for English cricket, you think about Matthew Mott has been put in contact and in charge of the T20 and 50 over format, white ball cricket. Ben Stokes, the captain of Test Cricket. Owen Morgan, captain of ODI Cricket. And then Brendan McCullum, who is the coach of Test Cricket. That is a formidable lineup. I'll tell you what, they are going to be very, very hard to beat because they've got all these different people coming from different parts of the world collectively with some really, really good attitudes. And I think that with Matthew Mott, McCullum, Stokes, and also Owen Morgan, English cricket is in very, very good stead. So well done on the new appointment of Matthew Mott. Of course, an Aussie. I love an Aussie being in charge. That's what you want to see. But Matthew Mott, for those that don't know him, watch this space. He's taken Australian cricket women's up to there, and I reckon he'll do it with the English cricket team as well. All right, let me know what you think about England cricket team and what they will achieve with their two new coaches. Of course, you can tell me your thoughts in the comments section. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you like it, share it on social, and you can tag me in as well. Of course, if you like it, subscribe to the Brett Lee TV. A lot more fun stuff coming up. And make sure that you look after yourself, and best of luck. It hurts me to say, but good luck to the England cricket team. 